A vibe like Ray Ray Five Ray Five I'm a vibe like Ray Ray Five I'm a vibe like Ray Ray Five I'm a vibe like Ray Ray Five Ray Five Ray Five I appreciate my brother. Yeah. I watch my nigga rise up. For always being honest. Yeah. And won't put a disguise up. Nope. Just smoke some marijuana. Yeah. The worries get behind us. Yeah. Soon as we see the thumbnail, click on it and get fired out of yeah. What is good, Vibe Gang? It is your boy right here with another one. We got uh we got ask and that shall receive from Joey from the Bronx. Shout out for you, uh to you, Joey, for the dodo. I appreciate you. I asked, I want to hear something new from my man, Joey D. So my man sent me, my man, Joey from the Bronx sent me, uh, King Vagabond, which is his group. They came out with this song and they came out with another song about 13 days ago that I'm doing tomorrow. But I said, I wanted something new from Joey Dean and I got something new from Joey Dean and it's going to be fire. I feel it in my heart. The song is called without, without. Federico, cut the beat, man. Official video. Joey Dean, King Vagabond. Joy from the Bronx, you ready? It's on you. Let's go. What is that? Oh, that man got the King Arthur sword. Ah, oh, he got the King Arthur sword on stack of papers. That's a message right there. I love the Renaissance time, man. We used to go to the Renaissance Festival all the time, me and the family. We missed last year. I hope we make, we make it this year. I love the Renaissance Festival. I like that sword, though. Oh, Corvex did the direction. It was the direct, uh, direction was from Corvex, okay? Oh, Jordan Dean looking like he sells, like, pampers at Walmart. Like, he's the picture of the guy in the... By Huggies. Oh, hey, why are you looking so glamorous right now? Hold on, bro. <laughs> I'm not the one I was, not the one I used to be. I'm more and I am less. Mm. Look, I'm not the man I was, I'm not the one I'm, I used to be. Off rip. We, we never the ones that we used to be. We always, uh, we always uh, 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 get better. We always, you know, what's that? What's the word? Um, We always upgrade them it's our mentality. We we always are gonna think different from years and years that pass by. That's that's a given. Your your opinions change, your thoughts change. It is what it is. But sometimes it doesn't it doesn't change for the better. Sometimes it changes for the worse. But it's about coming out of that situation is what makes you you. That's what makes the person build and be strong and, and able to, to, to withstand any type of obstacles that come around. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do something. That's the worst thing in the, in the world. What did Cat what did, uh, Williams say? Worst advice that he's ever got, don't change. Worst advice he's ever gotten is don't change. Uh, you got to change, man. If you ain't changing, you ain't living, bro. And, and if you have fans and you have people that follow you and, and they like you for just the way you are and they don't want you to upgrade, they don't want you to change it up or anything like that, they're not good for you then. You, you got to be, you got to overstep that and, you, you know, find the real you and keep on changing. Changing is good. Not all, not all the time. It ain't good. But, you know, we know we're adults. We know right from wrong. We know what's good change and what's bad change. Watch controlling the good change more than the bad, bro. That's all I'm saying. 
The shirt on it can't be playing that bullshit man that's the 80s right there no i don't want to hear it that's scarface uh, music right there bro get out of here man that's when he just got the cadillac he played that song stop playing the one that was the one that was dreaming million dreams that i was dreaming and, and, and that's the thing you, you're never gonna know when you're following your dream and in you you're you're picturing it it's going to be one a certain way and then when you actually have it and you're doing what you love to do it comes out to be not exactly what you thought it was going to be there's a lot of background shit that i didn't know that it goes into uh, doing shit like that but it, 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 it's work. It is a lot of work, and it's and it's consistency and work, and you gotta love it. It, it. That's the only thing that I could say is you gotta love it. And if there's things in life that is bothering you, having a, a platform is the best way to let it out. Our problems, our problems is that when we have issues and we have something that's really fucking us up, is that we just bury it inside and we don't talk about it. We don't let it out. You have to let some of that shit out. You can't be holding none of that pain and none of that that torture, that anguish on it, none of that. You can't be holding that stuff in. That's why I say everybody should have some sort of a platform just to let just get to just to get it out. Just to get out their frustrations. Holding that shit in ain't good. See what Joey does. Joey's feeling a certain way. Joey wrote about it. Joey's singing about it. And that's how it comes out good music. Because when you feel what you're saying, it shows in your delivery, which in turn relates to a lot of people out there, which in turn can help somebody out, knowing that they're not the only ones feeling this way. That's my thoughts. No supernatural stay. Human in the end, they story no fairy tale, man. I'm human at the end. You're still gonna feel a certain way. You're still you're still gonna have your issues that you dealing with, especially when when you're famous and, and people know you and, and stuff like that. I, I could only imagine the type of stuff that these artists have to deal with when it comes to their fan base and everything like that, because they're not all sane in the brain. There's a lot of people out there that make it a little bit tougher for you on your way up, but fighting through it. Anything's possible. For my people in the back, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And as the light pours, trickles on my skin as night falls, I can find the rhythm. And as the sky pours, crashes on my skin.
Listen, this song is fire, bro. Fourth of July, good music. You already know what it is. About to go get some pizza and wings. About to get some cheap ass fireworks because the niggas broke. <laughs> I was going to have a good time playing this in the background. Even though it has a meaning to it, still good music. I don't give a fuck. It's like it's like the the sword in the stone. Well, it's King Arthur in them. Stone out. Now he's now he's a hero. Cause the books had gods of heroes. Or did it say heroes of God? Cause with that voice, you a superhero, brother. imagery right there because remember in the beginning he said it was why he was washing himself over or, or wash the 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 thoughts away and everything he's the middle of that river it looks like he's floating because he's the little baby jesus or maybe he's sitting on a rock i don't know but it looks fire i like the visuals the visuals in this whole video was fire the sky wants crutches on my skin i'm reborn the ending that i've yet to write i'll make it with the sacrifice Amazing, bro. The quality of the video, the quality of the song, the message in the song, it's all, oh, it's all good, man. I, I, I want to see King Vagabond, I guess the name of the band. Yeah, I want to see King Vag Vagabond just blow up. I, I want the, I want to see them just do some crazy shit with this music stuff, man, because they're good. They're good. They got this 80s style going. I can't wait to tomorrow's song, man. Woo! Like, comment, subscribe, do all night. I got one more coming for you guys tonight. I love all of you. Talk to you guys in a minute. Peace. Relax. 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 That's fine.